It's a loose delivery to begin with down the leg side. We'll get a sense of just how fast this ground is running. That's in line, is it? Yes, it is. Alana King in her very first over opening for the Perth Scorchers and in the WBBL. Oh, just walking across the line there. Well, that's given. Gets that one through nicely. Finds the gap. The first wheel been around Perth for quite some time. It's nicely played. Got into position nice and early. Didn't try and over hit it out as well. And as we see, the second boundary in the over. Probably Caught. Alana King. There we go. <laughs> Why not? Alana King in the inner circle, though, not on the boundary line. Nice. Really nice. It's teed off straight down the ground. She's done it once, has done it twice. It won't go the distance, but she's still got the boundary. It's nice footwork, but even nicer than the footwork was the placement. Absolutely superb through the offside from Heather Graham. Threw up, top of off. That's what the coaches say. A little bit quicker as well from Alana King. That is clever bowling. And that is up and over and nicely timed once again from Heather Graham. She's enjoying her time so far in the purple. As Heather Graham goes big again, she's hit one tonight, make that two. Across her crease and that looks pretty plumb in front and given. Ruth Johnson looking to go big through the onside, got deep in the crease, hitting across the line. I'll also say, oh, just straight through the legs. Well, that's a free beat for Nicola Carey. Bold. Once again, going, trying to go across the line. Now we've got to wait for the celebration. <laughs> Shahida Freedy style from Sophie Devine. And Peschel through the defences of Nicola Carey is going to have to change when she goes to Perth as well. Creates the full toss and it's drilled straight to Sophie Devine. Full toss. Well, it doesn't matter about the wicket, does it? Deep again, the long handle tries to get some leverage and that is very sharp indeed. She's done one on the boundary line this year in the WBBL. The second one, sharp, inside the inner circle. Oh, the long handle clears the field nicely. It's just plugged a little bit, but has enough on it to find the boundary. Finally, a boundary for the Hobart Hurricanes. Last delivery, and she goes the bouncer, Divine. Sora coming down the wicket. It's smart bowling and just gone through the hands. There was an opportunity. It went to the fingertips. Can they defend 109? And there's some movement away from the bat and away from the blade as Sophie Devine starts off very nicely indeed for the Scorchers. Dragged on, would you believe it? Sophie Devine, who has had a magnificent record against the Hobart Hurricanes. Footwork from Beth Mooney. And although at catchable height, what she does so well is always find the gap. Drilled straight down the ground. Good footwork there from Paparo. The gap as well. And once again, we're we'll seeing some fine display of straight driving here at Blacktown International from Chloe Paparo. And it's gone backward of square. So a loose delivery as she did the other night to start with Maisie Gibson. Looks to go reverse straight away. That's some smart play there from Chloe Paparo. Because it's pitched so far down the wicket. Only the three out for Ruth Johnson, all on the onside. So if you get it through the field on the offside. And this.
this time. A little bit straighter. Gap again. Looks to go up and over, but doesn't do it. Straight to Elise Villani. This time she takes it cleanly, the first grab. And Ellie Johnson, after being pumped for two boundaries in the over, fights back. That's what you do in Australia. Beth Mooney decides to go aerial. Had enough of going along the carpet. A couple of bounces over the boundary line as that takes it to nine boundaries for the Scorchers. As Jensen comes into the attack, a little wayward to start with. And with that little enticing <laughs> field placement, Manny Green has decided to go up and over the top. This was keen to do something different. Yeah, that's nicely played as well. The field is up. That's back-to-back -back boundaries for the Perth Scorchers and for Matty Green. I'm finding something. Straight down the ground. That's her favourite area, Matty Green. It's in the air and through the field. Placement is everything from Beth Mooney. And once again, we're seeing a display of straight hitting here for Matty Green. Ooh. Yeah, that's nice. It sounded good off the bat. Caught there from Elise Villani. One shot, and that is all it takes to pick up the win for the Perth Scorchers. Matty Green, a wonderful little cameo. Coming in at number four. It's a wonderful pickup for the Perth Scorchers. Beth Mooney, not out, 38. And Shelley Nitschke and Sophie Devine will be very happy indeed because that is two wins from two matches for the team.